Hey, what is going on, you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape, and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you guys an Iron Man related one. This is going to be loot from 10 hours of fishing Sacred Eels. The goal, as always, to get as much XP as possible, as well as as many Zolra scales as possible. The gear for this one is my fishing skill cape, alongside that a set of full angler, and of course my new dragon harpoon, which I just received about a week ago from loot from 10 hours of worms now i am 99 fishing but i did the special attack with that harpoon which raises your fishing level a few levels i'm not sure if this really helps out for the long term but i made sure to do that since you know why not i had nothing else to uh, use for special attack now my inventory was 20,000 fishing bait a normal fishing rod a knife and that was about it uh, other than that we would just be having one more slot filled and this is the zolra scales that we were going to be receiving these sacred eels were released into old school runescape november 26 2015 and they are members only fish that can only be caught at zolandra uh, you do need at least 87 fishing and you can only access this area once you have reached tyrus camp during regicide you also have to speak to the high priestess zolharinka before attempting to catch these eels or you'll be stopped by the fellow people that live here you do need a minimum cooking level of 70 to dissect these uh, eels with a knife and dissecting the fish gives anywhere from 3 to 9 scales and anywhere from 109 to 127 cooking experience. Basically 100 base XP plus 3 for each scale obtained. So your cooking level does affect how many scales that you receive when you're dissecting these eels. Uh, the minimum, the maximum, and the average scales per level can be obtained from this table below which I'll show you guys. And last but not least, the sacred eels provide a relatively high chance around 1 in 500, depending on your fishing level, of obtaining clue bottles. Although I wasn't really going for duplicate uh, clues in this video, I was just banking each tier that I received, and I only received a beginner, um, an easy, and a medium. So unfortunately, no hard or elite, but I will save those three clue scrolls for the end, just like I did last video with the amethyst, and we'll open them up, see if we get some more uniques. And according to the wiki, with 90 fishing and 90 cooking, you can expect to gain about 21.3k fishing XP and 23.8k cooking XP and around 1200 Zolra scales per hour. But you guys know me, I'm rocking 99 in both of those skills and according to the wiki this would get me 23.5k fishing XP and 26.4k cooking XP an hour. I want to say I definitely averaged a little bit more than this so maybe my special attack was helping me out after all but yeah there's also uh, the note that Rada's blessing can help increase the amount of eels fished per hour but but unfortunately, I do not have this on my Iron Man. I enjoyed this video. It was pretty AFK, uh, other than the fact that, you know, you got to spam click the knife on the eel. This will definitely speed things up. You can also just decide to do that once, and then your whole inventory will kind of fill out for you, similar to, like, crafting gems and whatnot. But for the most part, I was able to just spam click them because, it, you know, it does take a little bit of time to get your inventory full of eels, and it takes no time to dissect them all and watch those Zolra scales grow and grow. I actually had about 30,000 thousand Zolra scales in the bank before I ever killed Zolra on this account so I guess I had done this uh, quite a bit in the uh, past I don't really remember it too much but uh, yeah I never made a video on it so here we are and it's like I said before just another great way to AFK a skill and this particular skill gets you not only fishing XP but cooking XP now one thing I'm not too sure of I'm sure I could just google it and find out but I don't see it on this specific wiki page of the sacred eel and that's if uh, spirit flakes work here I don't even have any or any Temporos kill count on my Iron Man just yet, so I couldn't try it even if I wanted to. But yeah, I am curious if uh, Spirit Flakes work here. That could potentially double your scales per hour, but I don't want to say it can because I'm not too sure. Uh, unfortunately for me, well, I guess not unfortunately, but I already had a fishing pet coming into this video. Got it a few times over at Anglerfish and Sharks, so that really wasn't the goal for this one. I just wanted some more Zolra scales in the bank to fully uh, fill my blowpipe, and eventually I am bound to get a Serpentine Helm from Zolra, so I will definitely be filling that up as well hopefully get a decent amount of scales from this video on the side i was on my main account currently in the works of 10 hours of wilderness slayer cave green dragons uh it was a lot of clue scrolls so i'm very happy about that so far i might need to look into different recording software soon because it's actually pretty hard nowadays to record on multiple accounts at one time because unfortunately my screen capture can only focus on one thing at one time and if i want to record on two accounts i have to like move it over and whatnot and then my file names get all 
all mixed up. So I've been encountering that problem a little bit lately. That's kind of why I always do something that's AFK on one account and then something that's a little more click intensive on another. Uh, that's kind of what helps me out with this recording issue. So hopefully, you know, it is a new year. Maybe I'll look into uh, new software. Right now I'm using Camtasia 2019. Pretty simplistic uh, for anyone to use, especially me. I'm not that great at editing. As you guys know, one of the most old school uh, videos that you can do is basically how I do things. So if you guys have any advice on editing or recording software, let me know in the comments below. I would appreciate it. Anyways, getting back to the sacred eels here, obviously not too much to record with this one. I just made it eight minutes instead of 10. See, I have the capability to kind of ramble on, uh, you know, a little bit off course sometimes, but mostly we stay on topic and the minutes just fly by. So length is really never a problem, but I, I didn't want to make this too long for you guys. A little bit about the sacred eels. Uh, they have been reported to be nibbling on Zolra and that explains why they give Zolra scales upon dissecting them. So, you know, poor Zolra out there getting killed by all sorts of weapons and even sacred eels just biting her up. As well as one more trivia fact, according to the high priestess of Zolandra, people who eat sacred eels will become one with the Zolandra tribe and causes their original families and tribes to shun them as unclean creatures. So, you know, don't try to eat these things. Very dangerous for many different reasons. And there's only been one update to these uh, sacred eels really for since they've been out till now and that's in 2020. You can now run while slicing sacred eels. Wouldn't recommend running with a knife but it's probably safe in RuneScape so yeah it's just something to keep in mind. All right ladies and gentlemen didn't I say those minutes just go by so quickly. Here we are loot from 10 hours of sacred eels fishing completed. Uh, we were way too close not to just go ahead and get one more eel so that I could reach 18,000 scales. Definitely had fun with this one. Uh, we do have three clue scrolls to go ahead and do real quick and then once we get to the caskets I'll definitely mention how much experience I received in 10 hours with cooking and fishing. No duplicate fishing pet this time around but that's not too surprising. I've gotten them quite a few times uh, but yeah we're gonna go ahead and open up these clue scrolls now hopefully receive something but let's go ahead and price check the Zora scales first. God I don't even know what I'm doing right now. So the overall price check from 18,000 Zora scales comes out to be 2.6 mil. So you're looking at about 260k an hour if you are 99 fishing and 99 cooking. Probably would be a little bit lower than this uh, depending on your level, so keep that in mind. To my surprise, we didn't really receive too much from the Clue Scrolls, just another 16k to go ahead and high alk and throw in the bank there. Um, but overall, it was a very relaxing video, pretty good grind. I, I do enjoy these things. I'll probably go back for a couple million XP in the far future. But until then, that's it for now. So I will see you guys tomorrow night with 10 hours of Green Dragons Wilderness Edition. And thank you guys for everything. You are awesome. Till next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.